people just say that you know your father has done everything for you what you need to do is just to come down and collect money but they don't understand all the hard work we put in Hello everybody, uh, we are currently the third generation running the business in Namki Chicken Rice. I'm the eldest brother, my name is Lincoln. I'm the youngest, Ken. My name is Dave. And uh, currently our store is actually located at 201 Upper Thompson Road. Okay, so before we take, took over the business, all three of us working in a bank, all the same department, doing the same stuff together. Okay, so Namki is actually uh, popular for our steamed chicken, of course, a Hainanese pork chop as well. Even for Zicha stores outside, they are prawn roll. It's totally different texture from us. Reason being is because we do it by hand. Because most of our stuff, right, uh, be it the sauce or ingredient, right, we actually do it ourselves. So I think that should be our speciality. Back in 1968, uh, our forefather actually came from uh, Hainan uh, Island, uh, wanting to bring the Hainanese delicacy to Singapore. He do not have any uh, F&B knowledge. He did trial and error. At during the time and therefore they started the business here right right here in Upper Thompson. One day my dad uh, came home from work and he actually told my mom that he wanna deposit a check. So that's when we realized that I'm gonna let go of the business to someone else. Then we thought since he wanted to retire right we wanna we wanna try it out. We feel that being accomplished, you know the fulfillment, it's much more than just earning money in the bank. We want to have ownership of something that belongs to us. For my eldest brother it's actually more into the technology, social media, so he's the one that does the marketing. My younger brother is very good in finance. Um, he will keep track of the finance and making sure we are on the right track. I like to cook, so naturally I'm actually in charge of the kitchen. If let's say one of us falls sick, we are able to actually cover each other. So basically we are, all, we are actually trained in all areas. I think that is what my dad wants us to do. Right? That is the, actually the priority that my dad set for us. You have to learn everything ourselves. Why? We are glad that we switched path. You know, we make our parents proud. My parents are always saying like, you know, I'm very proud of you. It requires so much time, hard work and effort, but you guys still persevere. We grew mature in terms of maybe how we view things in life. You see your own business running smoothly, it goes well. The sense of accomplishment is something money cannot buy or I can't find it anywhere else. It's worried that we are, are unable to cope with the stress, the hardship in the kitchen, the dirty jobs and stuff like that. So actually he would rather us continue working in the bank in a much more friendly environment, earning a decent amount rather than spend 12 to 14 hours a day just being in the kitchen. One of the biggest challenges we face right, is actually my father, which is a second generation owner. You know, second generation owner, they want to do things the old fashioned way, but we felt that it's not sustainable. And if we want to prosper and expand the business, we cannot do it the Old way. We need to have innovations. We need to implement SOPs, you know, implement delivery systems and stuff like that. So we end up having debates and you know family relations starts to be affected. I won't say it's an argument, but it's just heated debate where he has his point of view, I got my point of view, I got my direction that I want to work into. But at the same time, my father don't think that it's feasible. People just say that, you know, your father has done everything for you. What you need to do is just to come down and collect money. But they don't understand all the hard work we put in. They don't understand the number of hours we put in to actually convince our father that we are able to do it. We need to put in extra hard work, you know, to learn everything as soon as possible at the shortest time. Okay, because the thing is, we have never been in the kitchen in our whole life before, firstly. Secondly, my father has very high expectation for his work, for his food. One more thing is to my parents, we are still kids. Lah. It's not like micromanage, it's like protecting us. Like, don't want us to encounter failure, give us a easier route, more comfortable route because he didn't expect that you know we could firstly learn so fast secondly we uphold the standard of the food you know I would say after the takeover my father starts seeing uh, increasing customers everything is done uh, without him asking instead of like uh, questioning us in, in the past I think right now it's more of like oh sure let's do it ever since taking over this business right our relationship has been even more close. Although last time we used to, uh, you know, like go to work together, but now we have a lot more on the communication. The first day when I when we took over the business, right, in terms of tech, I got no one to ask. I cannot consult them because they don't know how to do it. I think it's very difficult because I don't really know what I need to know. So I end up calling every agencies to check if what we do is uh, under compliance. Or did we do anything wrong? If let's say. Every district in Singapore has a Namki, right? That will be one of our biggest goals that we are able to achieve. And if possible, 
internationally. The road is going to be tough, very tough. But you just have to persist, persevere. And one main thing is you have to have communication with elderly or, or second generation owners. Whenever you make a decision, actually think twice, consult them before you find a solution for anything.